topic of transgender athletes being allowed to play women's sports is making its way into the race for New Mexico's 2nd Congressional District. Tonight, Target 7 gets the facts on this attack ad. Here's Peyton Spellacy. If you've watched football at KOAT's More in the Morning, you have probably seen this ad. Girls have put in the work to be their best, only to be beaten, even bruised and battered by men competing in their sport. Republican challenger Yvette Harrell is attacking Democrat incumbent Gabe Vasquez. Vasquez voted to allow biological males to play in girls' sports, joining the extreme left. The ad is designed to elicit fear and anger against Gabe Vasquez for allowing biological males and to participate in women's sports. Target 7 found this ad to be somewhat true. Vasquez did not vote for people assigned male at birth to play in girls' sports. They already can. Instead, he voted against a law that would have banned them from playing. Most attack ads have an ounce of truth to them, but also some spin and exaggeration. Vasquez and 202 other Democrats voted on this bill more than a year ago, called the Protection of Women and Girls in Sports Act of 2023. It would have prohibited school athletic programs from allowing transgender women and girls from participating in programs that are for women and girls. The vote went completely down party lines and it went to the Senate where it died. This is a hot button issue. KOAT political analyst Brian Sanderoff says it's a topic that resonates with voters. You know, it's interesting that so many of these ads we're seeing now are dealing more with the culture wars rather than with dry economic policy and the political consultants think that these ads might work. Democrats who voted against it said they were concerned that legislation would have led to female athletes having to pass gender inspections. Some political analysts also believe the Republicans pushed the bill knowing it would die but would allow them to make ads like this one throughout the country. Congress is always doing things with an eye toward politics. Sometimes they do introduce bills just to get the other side on record. If you look closely, the ad was paid for by the National Republican Congressional Committee. However, I'm Yvette Harrell and I approve this message. Target 7 searched the nation and found this issue is being brought up in Republican attack ads in Tennessee. But woke politics made me swim against a man, sharing the pool and the locker room. And in Kansas. We know the difference between a cow and a bull. So I will ban boys from girls sports and bathrooms and stop the radical left from mutilating children. Sanderoff said this might be an effective strategy. According to a Gallup poll conducted in 23, 69 percent of all Americans believe that transgender females should not play in women's sports. The Republicans will use whatever message that they think would be most effective. So where does Vasquez stand on the issue? Target 7 reached out to his campaign to ask if he believes if transgender females should play in women's sports. In a statement, his campaign said, quote, Congressman Vasquez is against the discrimination of transgender students. For Target 7, Castration is for cattle, not our kids. I'm Peyton Spellacy. If you have...